are back on Dave's adventure, No Way Home. He has been traveling ever since Friday when he left California bound for New York, and he has to get back here by Friday. Friday, right. yes. What time, 9 a.m. I think 9 a.m. 9 a.m. All right. I, he, all he had was a, a, a cell phone, a Blackberry, and 50 bucks. And he's traveled 1,500 miles. Mm -hmm. We remember that he took a private plane mm -hmm. to Las Vegas, thanks to a very generous viewer, a Winnebago to Arizona, an 18-wheeler to New Mexico, mm -hmm. and then he hitched a ride with some new friends to right. Denver. And this morning, he is in Omaha, Nebraska, where he is earning money at Omaha Steaks. Dave, how are you? How are you feeling after your night at the frat house? <laughs> uh, well, I got to tell you, we were crazy last night. I'll bet. Uh, and af uh, yeah. Do and you know after that you're that too mixer, old for that? Well, no. I was telling the kids how it used to be when I was in school. Old school. Uh, and I was... Uh, yes, I was regaling them with stories for most of the night until all of them fell asleep, and then uh, I went to sleep myself. Oh, boy. Uh, believe it or not, we're, we're working on about an hour and a half uh, of sleep, and today, uh, after I work here, uh, we're all going to rest for a little while because I have got to go deliver a car to Des Moines to, uh, well, Granger, Iowa, uh, to a dealership there that I picked up and am transporting for some coin. Today I'm working for $12 an hour this morning cutting steaks. So the money is coming in and I'm spending very, very little. Yesterday I just spent uh, about $8 for uh, a lunch and then $2 for dinner because someone at Ruby Tuesdays gave me a kid's portion and just charged me. So we're very, very, I'm telling you. The other, tri the other trick, by the way, order something and then say, oh, this isn't really what I wanted. Ah. Tried that once There's too. There's a hair in this. Now, <laughs> right now, I have $121. I'm in good shape. But I've got to tell you, this trip gets better and better and better. You know, I started yesterday uh, on a ranch outside Denver, which was just compelling. But I want to tell you about the people there. They're just remarkable, and their generosity is amazing. You opened up this ranch. Why? What possessed you to extend that hospitality? I just, I think that's, you know, the family that we are. Um, we welcome anybody into our house anytime, anywhere. Any, anybody that needs help, we give them a meal and bring them in. My host and boss was rancher Matt Clough. Everything that you see here is, was made by hand in, you know, the late 1800s. And I mean, there's so much history in Colorado and that's why Colorado is special. What's it like to be a rancher? It's a great life. Every, every morning I wake up, I can't wait to go to work. I just found a love for it and continue to do it every day. The stunning view was free, but the room and board I had to work for. Breakfast time! Get up a little ah. hey. Look what I have! Come here! Come here! I'm putting what's called takedown. It's, it's basically protein and salt and mineral, and this is like food for the cows. They love this stuff. I worked all day cooking that. He's a regular ranch hand. I think we're gonna have to hire him. Hey, if you don't like the service, go to another restaurant, all right? That's what I'm saying to you. Breakfast time now, and uh, payment time for my work. For all my labor, Matt took me to O'Brien's Cafe for some home-cooked food. The key is when, when someone's buying breakfast for you, you know, order enough so you're not going to be hungry for a week. I could have stayed at that restaurant all day, but an offer came through on Twitter that I couldn't refuse. To the auto auction with the Miracle Sisters. Stacy and Freda Krinsky helped me get to their next job, where I was welcomed like an employee of the month. So Granger Motors hires me to transport a car from here in Denver yes. to them in Iowa. I show up here at the auto auction, and look who's here to greet me. Yeah. These are the folks at Mannheim Denver Auto Auctions. They auction cars that wind up in dealer lots all over the country. And if you drive a used car, it may very well have come through here. Okay, tire pressure looks good. Yep, this is what you're looking for, by the way. If you want to come on in, you're looking to make sure there's an engine. I knew I needed some lunch before the long drive to Nebraska, but I didn't want to pay for it. So like everything else this week, I had to work for it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going into space. Now just bend over, this won't hurt a bit.
We're gonna start the front end here, start on the motor, kind of go over an eight. And that's how it's done. $59.95. No ups, no extras. It's a cream puff, ladies and gentlemen, and it can be in your driveway today. All right, we're on our way. Take care, John. All righty. Thanks again. Let's go. This is the first time on the trip that I've actually spent a fair amount of time alone. I've always been in someone else's vehicle, but um, it's nice to actually spend some time and kind of take in the beauty. It's, it's almost therapeutic. And that brings us to Omaha today, much more ahead. Key is not staying in hotels, and that's why I have some cash. We're at Omaha Steaks. We're going to look at the meat. We're going to talk more about how to make great steaks all in a little while. What a trip this is. I am having the time of my life, guys. Thanks, Dave. Remember, you can follow Dave's progress on our special website, cbsnews.com slash no way home.